Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the top 10 most expensive cars. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. A automobile, at a certain price range, becomes more than just a mode of mobility. Many people consider these high-priced machines to be rolling works of art. Some people spend a lot of money on expensive paintings by Picasso and Van Gogh, while others write checks for costly Bugattis and Ferraris. Potato, 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 hot watch the video to see 10 of the most expensive and lavish new vehicles. To put it another way, this list of the most costly cars includes vehicles whose owners have only recently gotten, or are still waiting for, their high-priced vehicle. Number 10. Mercedes AMG 1, $2,700,000, est. Despite the fact that Mercedes AMG has yet to deliver a single one to a client, at least to our knowledge, the hybrid hypercar should more than justify its claimed $2,700,000 price tag. The high-priced one should allow its driver to feel, like Lewis Hamilton rushing toward another Formula One world title, thanks to electric motors, and a tiny 1.6-liter V6 engine that's touted to spin to an 11,000 RPM redline. Number 9. Koenigsegg Jesko, $2,840,000. Simple isn't a word that comes to mind when it comes to Christian von Koenigsegg. Proof can be found in the over $3 million Koenigsegg Jesko. The high-priced Jesko, equipped with a 1,280 HP twin-turbo V8, may appear to be little more than a stupid supercar with a large wing and a taste for long stretches of asphalt. However, go further inside the Jesko and you'll discover it's a true technological marvel. Making an engine with that much power and a car capable of handling it is impressive in and of itself, but that's not the reason for the Jesko's lavish attitude. The car's transmission, on the other hand, makes our hearts skip a beat. The gearbox, dubbed the Light Speed Transmission LST, uses seven clutches to move between nine different ratios. The LST not only shifts its speeds comparable to dual-clutch automatic gearboxes, but it also does it in a non-sequential manner. To put it another way, the Jesko does not need to downshift from 5th to 4th to 3rd gear. Instead, it may go straight from 5th to 3rd gear, for example. Of all, the transmission on the Jesko is only one aspect of this pricey hypercar's attraction. It is, however, the part that really fascinates us. Number 8. Bugatti Chiron, $2,998,000. What is Bugatti's commitment to producing ultra-expensive hypercars? It's serious enough that the Chiron, the entry-level vehicle, starts at a stunning $2,998,000. This money buys a 1,479 HP quad-turbo 8.0-liter 16-cylinder, engine capable of propelling the bug to a top speed of 261 miles per hour, which is electronically limited. Do you require any other information? Then the $4 million Chiron Supersport 300 Plus might be just the thing for you. Bugatti intends to produce 30 of these high-speed creatures based on the Chiron, the company's attempt to breach the 300 mph barrier. Alternatively, the $3,959,000 Chiron per sport would be worth considering, if you're ready to forego some top-end speed in exchange for more lateral fortitude. The high-priced per sport is undoubtedly the best Chiron variation of the bunch, as it's both blazingly quick and a total joy through the twisties, despite its top speed of only 217 miles per hour. Number 7. Aston Martin Valkyrie, $3 million, est. Once deliveries of the British hypercar begin, which is expected before the end of the year, Aston Martin's Valkyrie seeks to challenge the Mercedes AMG one. Aston's limited run, only 150 units are expected to be produced, Hybrid will seek to bring the driving sensation of an F1 car to the streets, with a rumored price of roughly $3 million. Because of its high price and limited availability, the average car fan is unlikely to ever get the opportunity to drive, never alone purchase, a Valkyrie. However, its high-revving 6.5-litre V12 engine should emit a lovely tune that will please pass his ears. Buys this, of course, implies that the owners of these high-priced vehicles actually take their Valkyries out for a spin once in a while. Why buy one of the world's most costly cars if you're never going to use it? Number 6. GMAT.50, $3 million, est. The high-end GMAT.50 carries the spirit of McLaren's breakthrough F1 hypercar into the 21st century. Gordon Murray's fingerprints are all over both devices, which comes as no surprise. In actuality, the T.50 appears to be a development of the F1's design. 
The T50's rear end, on the other hand, features a 15.7-inch pitch fan powered by an 8.5-KW electric motor, that increases downforce as needed. While some may adore the Batmobile-inspired design, others may find it unwieldy. Whatever your feelings about it, you must appreciate its inclusion. After all, in terms of dynamic performance, function trumps form, and the T.50 has enough of it thanks to its V12 engine, which produces 654 horsepower at 11,500 revolutions per minute. When you put the car in VMAX mode, the lowest drag setting, the powertrain's 48-volt starter generator kicks in for an extra 49 horses. In a world where hypercars with more than 1,000 horsepower are common, the T50's modest output may appear underwhelming. Number 5. McLaren Sabre, $3,500,000 Est. If you think the near million $2,019 McLaren Senna is a touch too ubiquitous, the McLaren Sabre might be for you. The high-priced Sabre is essentially a Senna on steroids, with lavish stylistic cues that make the Senna, which is already a head-turning vehicle, look mild in comparison. A mid-mounted twin-turbo V8 engine with 824 horsepower, 35 more than the Senna accompanies the Sabres over-the-top styling. Only 15 Sabres are expected to leave the factory, and while McLaren hasn't revealed the pricing, interested consumers are apparently being requested to write a check for roughly $3,500,000 to get one of these limited-edition high-end hypercars. Number 4. Pagani Wiry, $3,700,000 Est. Pagani keeps chipping away at the Wiry lineup. The standard model is no longer available. Instead, for 2021, Wiry will only produce two street legal models, the Wiry Roadster BC and the Tricolor. The former was announced for 2020, however the 40-unit run will be completed in 2021. This high-priced Roadster has a 791 HP twin-turbo 6.0-litre V12 heart, and is expected to cost $3,700,000. With an additional 38 horses, the Tricolor takes things to the next level. The Tricolor has a price tag of around $6,500,000 and is limited to only three pieces. Despite this, it isn't the most costly car on the planet. Number 3. Bugatti Devo, $5,700,000 Est. Sure, you could spend $3,959,000 on a track-focused Bugatti Chiron per sport, but you'd still show up for tech inspection in a regular Chiron. Meet the Devo, Bugatti's extra hyper hypercar designed for track use. The Devo, like the high-priced Chiron on which it is based, has a 1,479 HP quad-turbo 16-cylinder engine positioned in the middle. The Devo has further dynamic power thanks to a 77-pound weight reduction compared to the standard Chiron, as well as redesigned aerodynamics. However, straight line speed drops, and the Devo's top speed of 236 miles per hour is significantly lower than the Chiron's 261 miles per hour. Nonetheless, the Devo's extravagant style is the actual reason to pay $5,700,000 for this opulent piece of machinery. Do you want one? Regrettably, all 40 examples have already been claimed. However, if you have enough extra cash, you might be able to persuade someone to sell you their order line space. Number 2. Bugatti Centaur Dieci, $9 million Est. Like the historic Bugatti EB110's design, but prefer the modern creature comforts and performance of a Bugatti Chiron. Then look no farther than the Centaur Dieci, which is based on Chiron. The high-priced Centaur Dieci is based on the French Mark's 1990s supercar and includes bodywork inspired by it. Unlike the EB110, which used a mid-mounted 12-cylinder engine, the Centaur Dieci uses Bugatti's current 16-cylinder engine, which is tuned to produce 1,578 horsepower, 99 more than the standard Chiron. The Centaur Dieci is also 44 pounds lighter than the Chiron, sits 0.4 inch lower, and is 0.4 inch wider overall. Whether you like or dislike the Centaur Dieci's appearance, you have to admit it has a strong presence. Bugatti is expected to charge $9 million for each of the 10 Centaur Dietzis it will produce. Number 1. Bugatti La Voiture Noir, $12,500,000 Est. The lone La Voiture Noir Bugatti already has a buyer. But, as far as we can tell, this lucky person is still waiting for their high-priced hypercar to arrive. The La Voiture Noir, like Bugatti's other bespoke versions, is powered by the Chiron's mechanical components, notably its mid-mounted 16-cylinder engine. 
Bugatti's designers, on the other hand, worked overtime to incorporate the front engine proportions of the legendary Type 57 SC into the design of the Lavoitche Noir. The endeavor paid off, as the Lavoitche Noir's proportions visibly stretch the front end to the point that the mid engine variant appears to have its 16 cylinder heart placed ahead of the cabin. Despite the fact that the Lavoitche Noir was supposedly sold for $12,500,000, the car's buyer ended up paying a whopping $18,905,235 after taxes and other fees. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.